emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is a build for emodels.co.uk. Uh, the Lindbergh Science Kits Skeletal Foot. Uh, this is a one-to-one -one scale kit, so it's life-size, uh, as it says down here. Fully articulated, life-size, uh, anatomically accurate model kit. So, uh, we'll get into the box and see what we have. <coughs> now, in here, we have, obviously, instruction sheet. Uh, some, not really stickers, well, they are stickers, but they're not display type stickers they're uh, medical stickers if you like um, because it has a display base you can put this big sticker on the back of the display base and it's it's got labels for the bones in the foot uh, the the fibula talus uh, tibia uh, calcinus calcinus uh, cuboid intermediate cuneiform oh, yeah I'm not going to read them all out but there we go we, we have the middle phalanges Fox will like that one and distal phalanges as well lots of phalanges all the phalanges Got the dancing for lunges. Uh, so um, it's in a bag. Uh, I don't need that until the very, very end. If I'm even going to put them on, I'll, we'll figure out about that as it goes. Uh, I shall get the bag open and we'll see what we've got. But before I do that, uh, let's have a look at the instruction manual. Um, so let's move that out of the way. That can go back in the box because I don't need that for now. Uh, let's have a quick look at the box while we're here. It's got. Uh, so obviously pictures of the foot uh, molded in bone white plastic this model of the foot can be flexed into lifelike positions full assembly instructions and an educational educational anatomy chart that explains the workings of the foot are included in the kit mounted on its identification stand it becomes a fine educational model uh, so yes we've got basically little pictures on the sides and lots of stuff in various different languages so we don't need to worry about that uh, right, the instruction manual itself is obviously not a complex build. Uh, the whole point of these is not that they're you know difficult model kits to build or do anything with, uh, but they're accurate. They're designed to be an accurate representation. Uh, so the build itself is not going to take very long. It's not going to be very difficult. Obviously, we're putting bits in feet, toes together, putting the toes together, putting the ankle together, and then putting it on the stand. Not exactly difficult. Uh, the interesting page is the back one which is a, a medical sort of version uh, giving you a little bit of uh, more information for consists of an ankle instep five toes and ankles and stuff and uh, it obviously then labels all of the bones and the different bits uh, range of ankle movement uh, other bits inside bones and things and uh, yeah so um, I'll get the bits out of the plastic and we'll see what the kit looks like Right, even without looking at the instructions, it's pretty simple to understand what's going to be happening. Obviously, we've got the main assembly that goes together, something like that. Uh, there's little bits of flash here and there, but not, not loads. Uh, there'll be a little bit of tidying up to do on some seam lines, but uh, again, not, not too much to worry about. Uh, the stand obviously looks nothing like it does on the box. Uh, there's, it's obviously designed for the nameplate to be stuck onto. Uh, we have say one, two, three, four, five, and another part of the ankle probably. So we've got the five toes and another bit. Uh, we've got the tops of the five toes and the other bit or the bottoms. I don't know which one's which. Uh, those two bits I figured out. They obviously again match up and we'll go together something like that. We've got those two bits, uh, let's get that way around. Uh, so that's obviously going to go over there. That's going to go. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll, I'll, I will actually use the instructions. That's obviously the bottom because that's what goes on to the, the stand itself. The little, the one bit that's not accurate is the hole for the, for the fitting. So that goes up to the rest of the leg. That will go onto there, that's obviously the, the heel. So somehow that bit goes into that bit. Oh, there we go. Pretty much like that. 
So there we have it. That's obviously the four, and that that be the main. That's what the big bit is. It's the main big toe first bit. Uh, it's the uh, metatarsal medium cuneiform, medial cuneiform. Apparently, call it the sheet if I'm looking at the right bit. Uh, so yes, not not too much to build. Um, I'll get bits off the sprues and we'll start building. In case anyone's completely new to model making, uh, basically to get the pieces off of a sprue, uh, what you need to do is use a pair of cutters and you basically snip and cut them off. Uh, now the end there may, may well leave a, a rough edge piece so you can just sand that down a little bit to remove the, the roughness. You might need to go through a couple of different uh, grades of of sander or sanding paper, sanding stick, uh, and basically until you get a finish that you're happy with, that you can't feel, and it's just there. Uh, now these obviously go together as the toes or the middle, the, the toe bones. Um, there are little pegs and grooves that they snap into. Obviously they do need gluing together. The fit is a little bit sort of warped. Um, on some of these older kits they can if they get affected by temperature and things like that but by putting a little bit of glue on it and basically holding it together for a, a minute or two that should take care of all of that uh, so let's get that done I'm going to use some Tamiya Extra Thin uh, is my glue of choice for most uh, polystyrene kits so what I'm going to do with this is first of all get some on the pegs and get the main parts of the kit located together and where they should be. Uh, this doesn't take very long at all for it to dry, uh, it evaporates. So let's get some inside that join and down the first bit of the seam and then I can hold that in place. So if I hold that for a, literally just a, a few seconds that should be enough to glue that together. Uh, while I'm doing that, I might as well run some down the other visible seams there. Obviously the toes themselves, when they go together, won't actually be glued to the next bone along. So you've got sort of the articulation there, the movement. But for now, there's a little bit of a gap on that side. Get that through there and just squeeze it together. Before these get assembled onto it, I will be tidying up the, the seams and sorting them out, making sure everything looks good down there. So, just a little bit of time holding it together. Should be plenty. There you go. That's already oh, come apart again. Give it a little bit more time than that. Maybe a little bit more glue than that as well. There's quite a big area inside there. Uh, so, I'll get all these toes glued together, and then we'll see about tidying up the seam lines, and then we'll see about putting them into the foot. Okay, that's all the toes uh, stuck together. Um, I need to make sure that's properly dry before I can, let's say, tidy up the seams and do that. So basically, I'm going to put that to one side. I'm going to do the same thing to the, the big toe, which is in exactly, built in exactly the same way. Simply goes together like that. <coughs> and the uh, I don't know the next bit along to the big toe. I should really look at the instructions and see what they're called. There we go. This will be the uh, metatarsal thingy, big big toe bit. Uh, that that one, that bit there. Which once that's together, I say you can't put that together yet because that then goes into it the same way that these toes fit into the the body of the uh, the foot so basically it goes in there you don't glue these in place so they have the articulation there so I can't glue that together yet but I can get that one together and then when that's ready I can glue that into there and then that if I don't drop it oh, there we go uh, that goes together like that and 
that goes onto there so it all lines up and then obviously we've got the big toe coming off the end there and then when that's all together that bit goes on to uh, whichever way round it goes because that's the heel so that's got to be that way round once that's together that's that way round that fits on there like that so that's the whole of the foot and then that fits into the two obviously the bayonet type sort of pops in which will be the last thing to do so that's that now that can go together because they're both on one side anyway so I'll basically I'll get those bits together I'll get uh, not those bits together I can get those bits together and the toe together and then we'll worry about tidying up seam lines and things so I'll just have uh, that and that still to be fixed in, into one piece and then all assembled That's the fingers all sort of uh, sanded down to get almost rid of. Uh, there's still a little bit visible there of sort of seam lines. Uh, basically just spend a little bit of time going over them and tidying them up. Uh, when these do get painted, that's going to be almost gone. Uh, you can't actually feel it. It's just a, a sort of remnant of plastic distortion and things like that. Uh, now, there are a couple of other things that I need to do on this. The knuckle joints aren't terribly well moulded so I'm actually going to use a, a little knife and just almost sort of cut out just sort of groove just to increase the, the depth of some of these uh, edges especially where I've been sanding down a bit it might have just caused it to come away a little bit so that's just sort of tidying them up a little bit uh, that one is one I've already done so you can see as it's got a better edge to those now these aren't articulated obviously in a real foot they are but they can't they say fully articulated but they don't really mean fully fully articulated uh, so yeah that one there again is a little bit less pronounced than I would like so I'm just tidying that up a little bit making that a little bit more pronounced um, and then trying to sand in the edge a little bit just to take I'll keep saying a little bit it's all a little bit because it's a foot but it's it's human scale so you know um, so once all that's done and once all of the the seam lines are gone or as gone as it gets there are a couple of areas where the join isn't quite right uh, you can see a couple of dark dark patches there uh, now you can uh, fill it with like a, a sprue goo or something like that but I'm just going to use normal tam thick Tamiya paint uh, paint glue normal thick Tamiya glue uh, because it is such a small area so just a, a couple of those spots there I'm just gonna add a little little patch of glue which will create a little plastic bubble so I'm gonna leave that to one side to dry uh, there's a more pronounced one you can hopefully just see right down into the the middle of that so I'm just gonna give that a touch with the glue and that should just fill up that little hole uh, there's another bit on the end there so once that's dried uh, give it it doesn't take as long as sprue glue to dry it's not a 24 hour thing but a, a good couple of hours make sure that's properly dried all the way through not just dry on the surface and then you can go in again and sand it down again and make it look tidier and neater. Uh, it's a little bit at the top here. So yeah, just making it as nice as I can. A little bit there. So I'm just going to run that down that seam. Uh, there was one that I saw that was worse that I was going to point out to you all but I can't find it now it's always on the last one isn't it except it isn't now I can't see it ah, that might be it right at the top there which isn't really going to be visible but might be because that's obviously the join where it attaches to the rest of the 
the uh, the foot. Uh, so I get the rest of those tidied up, then let them dry a bit, and finish off the, the cutting out of sections just to make it a little bit nicer. Uh, the nice thing about um, sanding these is I don't want a perfectly smooth surface uh, because it's it's a bone finish, obviously. As you know, all, all of it is. None of it is perfectly smooth. It's all got little bits of texture and things to it. So what I'm actually going to do is, when I've been sanding down, say, the joins and things, I'm going to deliberately go in with, again, the harsher sander in various different directions to not give it a uniform storation, uh, just to make sure it's, it blends in as well as I possibly can. Uh, so I'll get that done, and then we'll be ready to get the toes in and join it together. So I'll come back and show you that. That's the glue dried and sanded down again. Uh, the seams are almost invisible now. After they've been painted, they're going to be completely invisible. So I'm happy with how they've come out. Uh, even on this bit, there's... So you can see it now, but you can't feel it. So once it's got the, the painting on there next next uh, video, then that will be perfectly all right. I won't... I'm not unhappy with how that's come out. Uh, so the next bit is to get some of it together. Uh, so we have the bit next to the toe. The um, let's have a quick look. It's not. It's not on there. It, one, two, three. Yeah, it is on there. It's that bit. The the metatarsal medial cuneiform, um, which so you can't glue together as is because it needs that toe in there as well. So the trick is to get that in there. And then glue it together, but glue it together in such a way that you don't glue that piece. So you still want that to have some movement there. Uh, so basically, it's the same as I've done with those, but with an extra bit added to it. So again, there is going to be a little bit of uh, filling needed to do on that. So I'll get that glued together. I'm not going to show you all of that again because it's exactly the same as doing that, but so just keeping that movement there. Uh, and the same again with all of the other four toes. So basically you need to get the, the toe in place and glue around it and make sure there is still the movement there. Obviously getting the toes in the right order, they're all different sizes so it's easy to get them. Even though they're out of order at the moment, you can easily get them correct again. So uh, again, once that's on, there'll be more sanding and possibly filling of a seam and sanding again uh, but I can get that piece done as a separate bit with the toes on it obviously and uh, that piece done as a separate bit and then we'll worry about putting them together so we can do that afterwards you don't have to do it as one so once that's on there uh, that bit will go down there somewhere whichever way up the other way up that way up there it goes in there somewhere along the line so it's there it's gonna go around there somewhere we'll figure that bit out but it doesn't need to be assembled in one piece so I can do that first and then get that on there yeah it's got this cut out it goes into that triangular area there so that bit goes on there pretty much like that but we can do that afterwards so I'm gonna get that glued together get that glued together get it sanded down and then show you it when I've got the piece ready to be moulded into one. While I'm waiting for these bits to dry, uh, that one's look, looking pretty good. The foot still moves, the toe still moves even. Uh, there's, as I say, some seam line to clean up on there when the, the dry glue has fully dried, but I'll leave that for a, a few hours. Uh, these bits don't need any more doing to them at the moment, so I'm going to put them together. Now, they obviously just ban it in, uh, making sure you get the two bones the correct way round. So following the instructions here, uh, we've got that's uh, that way round, because that obviously goes on to the, the rest of the foot, uh, and that goes that way round. So it just sort of clips in, just like that, nice and easy. So you've got articulation of the uh, ankle, and then the foot can just go onto there. So it's, it's coming together, uh, obviously that's, as I say, going to go on there like that. So yeah, it's getting there. Uh, when that's dry, I'll get the clamps off, file up, 
<coughs> and be done. That one is basically done. So uh, yeah, the end is in sight. Well, that's it all sanded down and filled the gaps in with uh, Tamiya thick glue, which is why some of it's a bit shiny, uh, which ordinarily would be a problem, but it's going to be painted afterwards anyway, so I'm not worrying about that. That will come up you know, fine, even the, the rough edges there are nice and smooth. So that's all fine. Uh, now it's basically the final assembly. Uh, this bit obviously fits in nicely in there without any problems at all. Uh, and then we've got the big toe that goes onto there. Now I'm not sure if it should completely fill the gaps, but it, it doesn't. Uh, there's a big gap obviously underneath there, and sort of in the in the top here, there's a, a seam, a gap as well. Uh, so as it's obviously going to be displayed from the top, I'm going to make sure the top bit fits properly, and worry about the the inside bit later or possibly not at all it depends how it goes when it goes together <coughs> uh, so I'm gonna get the foot onto there first so again back with the extra thin uh, just getting some coverage around the edge first now most a lot of it will evaporate before I get it on there but not all of it so that gives me a, a starting point for it being locked in place and then I can come back in and let it fill in the seam. Now obviously that's not a perfect join, perfect seam, but it's obviously two different bones. So that's okay. It doesn't matter that it doesn't join up 100% because feet don't join up 100%. Bones do have gaps and joins in them. So that's that one. We'll just hold that together to get that a nice tight seam in there. And then we'll do the same with the toe. Being ex extra thin, oh, my washer's fallen out. Let's get that back in there. And poke that back in. So it goes back where it should be. Yeah, that's nicer. It'll probably come out next time I use it, but there we go. Uh, so that's that one. And then. I'm going to put the glue around there because that triangle joins up to that triangle. So we get that in the right place there. I'm trying to juggle it all. I should probably do them one at a time so it sets, but that's that. I'll join that in there as well and add some more glue down that when I can let go of it, when it's free to set a little bit. So uh, yeah, I'll see you when it's assembled. Completed, all done, finished. Uh, obviously, apart from the painting, the building is finished, shall we say. I haven't glued it onto the stand because obviously to paint underneath, I'm gonna need to get it out and free and obviously I need to paint the stand in a different color. Um, but a uh, couple of other little things that I'm gonna do uh, before that. Uh, there is, I say, a join down there which I'm gonna fill in with glue, basically. Uh, the top ankle obviously has movement there as do all of the toes but I'm actually going to glue them in place because uh, I don't need them to be flopping around and especially that one it, it's when it's on the stand you can't have it you know nicely so I'm just going to glue those all in place and get the toes I say lined up and looking nice and then glue them in place as well uh, purely to make it easier to you know manipulate and you don't need them to it's going to be in a cabinet in display so it doesn't need to be played around with so i can get them into a, a decent position and just glue them in place uh, so i'll do that now um so I fill that in with the the thick glue uh, i'm just using the extra thin to uh, glue the rest of it so i'm just gonna get it into that join getting a good uh, build up of it in there And then I'll spend a couple of minutes just holding it in place. Uh, I'll put it back on the stand so we can see how it how it looks. It goes on like that. So that's at that sort of angle. So I want that about there. So I'm just going to hold that there, fill in the bits, and then when it's all finished in one piece, I'll finish up. 
With the toes all glued in place so they're not moving, the one thing that is noticeable to me, the top all looks fine, I've got no problems at all with that, that's all okay. The um, Tamiya thick glue has filled in that, that seam down there without any problem at all. But on the underside, uh, there's still that big gap there, which I'm not overly happy with, but you're not gonna see unless you, you know, pick it off the stand and have a look. But these bits here are a bit more prominent, a bit more uh, noticeable. So what I'm gonna do is fill those, but normal glue isn't just gonna fill it because it's too much of a gap. So I've made up some sprue goo, uh, which is Tamiya Extra Thin, uh, which is why it's in an extra thin pot, with bits of sprue and, and polystyrene melted into it, making a, a gloopy, thin, white gloop, uh, basically. It's it's liquid sprue. Uh, that's, that's what it is and what it does. So basically by painting it over a gap, a hole, you're filling it with plastic again. And hopefully that will dry to give a almost indistinguishable from original kit finish. Uh, now this does take a while to dry. It takes basically a day, 24 hours to dry. Uh, and what basically happens is the, the extra thin evaporates from it, leaving just the plastic. Uh, so it already looks better because it's filled in the black hole with white or whitish uh, sprue. I'll leave that up that way to dry. Um, I'm gonna fill in a little bit of this, but I'm not gonna be able to get the whole thing without building it up with plaster card or something like that. But I can make it a little bit nicer, a little bit less prominent around the edges. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave this to dry and then we can come back and see what it looks like tomorrow, basically. Whether I need another coat of it, we'll see how it ends up. Sometimes it shrinks to fit and into the into the hole, but we'll see how it looks tomorrow. So there we have the completed build of the foot. Um, it's not articulated anymore, but it's better for it, I think. Uh, it's just as it would normally be on display. So uh, yeah, that's it for this build, uh, or at least for this build video. Uh, upcoming is going to be the painting of the foot to make it look. A uh, bit more, uh, sort of, I would say used, but not quite what I had in mind. But yeah, more realistic, more bony. Um, as a medical model, it's perfectly fine as it is. But as a display piece, I think it needs a little bit more. So uh, come back soon for part two of this build, uh, which is going to be the painting. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching so far. Uh, don't forget, pop along. The foot is still, or should still be, available from emodels.co.uk. Uh, go along, have a look and see. You get some other medical things as well. They, they do lots of lots of these uh, Lindbergh kits. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon for the continuing foot saga. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.